Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna talk about the best free video editor of 2023, and I seriously mean this. It is a free video editor, and it's called ClipChamp. It's made by the team over there at Microsoft, and as it stands right now, it's completely free. There is a paid for version if you wanna use, you know, fancy stock footage and maybe some fancy transitions, but you don't need to use it. This is works perfectly. There's no watermark, it's crazy good. Let me show you. In order to access it, all you gotta do is go to clipchamp.com like I've done here, click login. Bang, again, totally free, this is crazy. You get a few options, including downloading it to your computer. So keep this in mind. Again, all of this is free. You can have a browser-based version. I'm in Google Chrome, but if you don't want that and you wanna, you know, edit, remote or edit uh, on your computer you can load up and download the basically the computer version so the uh the hardware version so you get both options ready to go so i'm going to close this but keep in mind they're both available but browser based is easy to use and it's fast here we go anyways two options you can create a new video if you've got stuff you've already recorded on your phone or maybe you're a gamer and you've got some gameplay footage whatever or you can record something use your webcam screen microphone or a combination of things. Also, it has pre-built free templates as well. So if you wanted to make a TikTok, friggin' TikTok video, you could click on social media or you can just click on this one here, TikTok, and bang, you've got TikTok video. Anyways, let's go through this step-by-step. Step. Create a new video, here we go. Presto, uh, we've opened it up and it is crazy easy to use. Now, what you've got here is the first thing you can do is you can import media. So I would normally click on this, but you can also do this, watch this. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop a couple of things in. So I'm just gonna drag and drop and bang, drop your media and it loads it up almost instantly. Look how fast it did that. This one's gonna take a few seconds because it's a huge file. But if I wanna add this video now to my timeline, I just click the little green button and bang, there it is. Let's listen. Hello everybody, welcome back to it. There you go, we've added it in and it's on the timeline. I can delete it for now, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to import footage. If you wanna record something, you can again, screen and camera. If you wanna just record yourself talking to your iPhone or talking to your laptop, webcam, whatever it is you wanna do, your camera, your screen, or incredibly text-to-speech. I've made a video about text-to-speech, but this is the best text-to-speech uh, video editor by far, and it's free, so it's just crazy good. Um, let me show you actually, why not here? I'm gonna go ahead and add in some text. Uh, let's go ahead and just type something in here. Hi there, my name is Curtis. Whatever, something like that. I'm gonna go with the default settings, but do note that there's all these different voices, but I'm just gonna go ahead with Jenny and hit, and hit preview. Hi there, my name is Curtis. Okay, not bad. I would speed it up a bit. You can change the voice style, you can change the pitch, but this is, Again, pretty crazy, and it's really, really good without anything being done to it. So there we go. If I want to add it to the I timeline, hit the space or hit the plus sign, and it's on the timeline. Now, if I want to add in my footage, I can just drag and drop it, of course, and I could show you how to trim it. You just trim it just like it's on an iPhone. It's pretty crazy. Just trim it, and it's all lined up. If I want to add in another piece of footage, here we go. I'll just hit the plus sign again. It adds it. If I want to go ahead and start making some transitions, for example, this has free transitions. Let's see if I can add them up here. I'm going to go over here. I've selected both footages here. What do I do? I just hover in between them, add transition. The plus sign shows up and we've got our default transition. And if I want to change that, I can go over here and change the different transitions. It's set to crossfade for one second. But if I want it to be a friggin' heart, I would make it a heart, whatever. Uh, you can do all sorts of things, just adding in free transitions. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, I'll just add in another piece of footage here. I'll add this in back again. And let's say I want that heart. Now I would just go over here. I would go to my little transition options, which is under, doo -doo -doo. I would hit fade, pardon me, transition right here. And then presto, I just gotta hover over it and bang. There we go, we got the heart. It's added automatically, it's crazy. Now check this out, if I wanna work with a template, like I showed you at the beginning, if I wanted to do a YouTube template, you can click on this and bang, I can add these in on top. So if I wanted like a, this is my video and I wanted to add that, watch this. I just hit enter. Hi there. My name okay, it takes a few seconds to load it up, but look, it's added it in. And once it's done, let me hit play and show you what we got. Okay, we've added that in. It takes a second or two to load, but again, we've got all of these things. I hover on it. These can all be added in seconds. Crazy. And again, all free stuff. Pretty cool. 
It's got music and SFX or sound effects, all free here, as you can see. If you want to add in stock video, you get a whole bunch of options. Some of them are free, some of them are not. But you just click on the free to use. You just push that out and bang. We got this dude here doing his thing. I'm going to add it to the timeline. That's it. It's added. That's that simple. Transitions, you can add in images. So if you wanted to use like, you know, stock images or you wanted to, you know, you've got something that you made on Photoshop and you want to bring it in. It's just drag and drop. It's that simple to export it. Watch this. You go ahead and just click on export 1080p. No watermark. I can't stress this enough. It's free. It comes with no watermark. This is all you need to do if you want to save it to YouTube or save it to Google Drive, upload it to YouTube, upload it to TikTok. This is an absolutely amazing program, free. You know, I'm not an affiliate. I don't get I don't care if you download it or don't, <laughs> but it's awesome. Thanks for watching.